This lesson is on finding real zeros of quadratic functions. This is section 5.2 and 5.3 in the Algebra 2 book. When you are solving a quadratic function, you are finding the solutions, the x-intercepts, roots, and or zeros. All of those terms mean the same thing. Here's an example, x squared plus 3x minus 4. If we graph this in our calculator, we get a graph of a parabola. It touches the x-axis in two places. We're going to find those two places where we touch the x-axis. To do that, we're going to go to second trace, pick number 2 for 0. You want to set your left bound on the left side of the parabola a little bit above the x-axis and enter. For the right bound, you want to set it a little bit below the x-axis, but still on the left side of the parabola and hit enter. And then hit enter for guess, and it tells you that x equals negative 4. Now if you do the same process again, go second trace, pick number 2 for 0. This time we're going to the right side of the parabola. You want to set your left bound on the right side of the parabola, but a little bit below the x-axis. Hit enter. For the right bound, you want to move it above the x-axis and keep it on the right side of the parabola. And hit enter when you get it above the x-axis. Hit enter for guess and it tells you that x equals positive 1. So these are the two solutions, or the two zeros, or roots, or x-intercepts, negative 4, or positive 1. You can also get this answer by factoring. If you take the original trinomial and you factor it, you're trying to figure out what multiplies to make 4 and adds up to 3. That would be a positive 4 and a negative 1. And then you want to set those factors equal to 0 and solve for x. On the first one, you would solve for x by subtracting 4. On the second one, you would solve for x by adding 1, and so we get negative 4 and positive 1, the same answer as we got on the graph. You can have a parabola that touches the x-axis in two places, meaning it has two solutions, like the first picture. You can have a parabola that touches the x-axis one time, meaning it has one solution, like the second picture. Or you can have a parabola that doesn't touch the x-axis at all, meaning it has no real solutions. It has imaginary ones, which we'll learn how to find imaginary ones using the quadratic formula tomorrow. Okay, I want you to graph each one of these parabolas and see how many solutions it has. Does it have one, two, or none? And if it has one or two, then actually find out where they are using your second trace zero feature. Pause the video until you're ready. Okay, for the first one, the parabola does not touch the x-axis at all, so we have no real solutions. For the one below it, again, the parabola does not touch the x-axis, so we have no real solutions. For the top right corner, you would subtract 4 and you'd be graphing x squared minus 4, which touches the x-axis in two places. There are two real solutions. They are at negative 2 and positive 2. And for the last one, it touches the x-axis once, and it has one real solution at negative 2. You can use second trace number 2 for 0 to find that answer, or you can use the minimum feature, because the minimum point and the 0 are at the same place. A word problem. A ball is thrown into the air following the equation h of t equals negative t squared plus 3t plus 10. t is the time in seconds and h is the height of the ball. After how many seconds will the ball hit the ground? Okay, we're going to graph this parabola in our calculator and we can see that it touches the x-axis in two places. One where we have a negative answer and one where we have a positive answer. We're only concerned about the place where we have a positive answer because you can't have a negative number of seconds. So this point right here on the right side of the parabola where it touches the x-axis is the answer we're trying to find. Second trace, pick number 2 for 0. Set your left bound a little bit above the x-axis but on the right side of the parabola and set your right bound a little bit below the x-axis but on the right side of the parabola. Hit enter for guess and you get that x equals 5. So it takes 5 seconds for the ball to hit the ground.